Um, a lot of people may already know if you follow me on Facebook or if you're friending me on Facebook or if you are one of my snapchat followers um so yeah big news is I am expecting um I am as of right now four four and a half almost um, months pregnant um technically 17 weeks as of today um and I know I, that would have been something great to talk about, but one thing I did want to do is make sure that I got out, out of the miscarriage stage. Um, a lot of women I know have been going through those phases and it is a very stressful thing, especially when, you know, you want your baby, of course. <laughs> it's hard to have that on your, it's, it's hard. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got out of the miscarriage stage before I actually enjoyed my pregnancy and um, vlogged my pregnancy and broadcast my pregnancy and things like that. Um, we have went to, so far, two doctor's appointments and it's been wonderful. We got to see our wonderful baby. Um, like I said, I'm only four and a half. Unfortunately, I can't find out what I'm having until 19 weeks, which is two weeks away, so it's not that far. But it feels like so far away, but time has been flying. It doesn't even seem like it's been four months already. Like, I'm almost five months pregnant. I can't believe it. I do want to definitely vlog my pregnancy. Um, it probably won't be every day, but you may get two to three videos about me me and my pregnancy um yeah i'm going to show you guys the bump this is the front view front view side side view see side view <laughs> technically i'm not showing but then again i am showing only because i'm already plus size um and then you add on four months of being pregnant i have felt slight movements but not anything to like oh my goodness babe come and feel so yeah but i'm going to show it through this way and i had to start wearing maternity pants because honestly it start i couldn't wear my regular leggings it does it just does not look right this is the front view and yes i have stretch marks this is the front view and this is the side view yeah most of the people on my side of the family they want me to have a boy my mom has three girls and one boy my aunt has a boy and a son um a daughter and a son and just all along that side there's a lot a lot a lot of women um and on my dad's side they have a lot of men technically no actually on my dad's side it's kind of mixture but Quite a few of them want me to have a girl. As far as his side, it's 50-50 on a boy and a girl. His mom definitely wants a girl. Um, and actually, we plan on having a nice little video of our reveal. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, um, I'm excited. At first, I will honestly say I was kind of nervous. Um, it was hard to tell a lot of people in my family just because um, I come from a very religious family. So with me already living with my boyfriend and on top of not being married, having a baby is sort of a big no-no in my family. But um, I've grown to accept how they feel and also accept responsibility on what I did. Personally, I feel like, I mean, God won't put anything on me I couldn't bear. Um, so... Um, all I can do now is move forward, love my child, take care of my child, and live my life. So that is, that's just how I personally feel about it. Um, we do definitely plan on being married, but we just feel as of right now, getting to know each other as well as preparing for our child is the most important thing. And of course, when marriage comes along, it shouldn't be 
it shouldn't be a problem. Nothing should be a problem. Um, we have no issues with starting our family and then becoming married because we love each other. So on to when I found out I was pregnant. Kind of a funny story because I was at work when I actually found out I was pregnant and um, I was just, I was just like, okay, today is like the third day I should have had my period and it didn't come. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Um, so I call my boss right away and I'm like, oh my goodness, can you pick me up a pregnancy test? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm freaking out, I really need it. So she brings the pregnancy test and I test and everything like that. And I just come out and I'm frozen and I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And she's just like, calm down, calm down. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. And I thank God for her because she was a sweetheart. Um, and I called my boyfriend right away and I told him, and his reaction was like a little bit of like, everything's gonna be okay in excitement. And I kind of thought like he would be like, oh my goodness, let's talk about this when we get home. But no, he calmed me down and everything was fine. And I don't know, I don't think I told my mom that day. Um, I went and got my hair done, things like that. And I completely changed the color of my hair. I was just, I was doing a lot of drastic things that day. Um, I wanna say maybe a week later almost, I finally told my mom and uh, <laughs> me telling my mom was kind of <laughs> weird. Funny thing is, I thought my mom would freak out and like hit me and just be crazy, but I got the opposite reaction. I decided to tell her while we were in the car so that way she couldn't move. She had to focus on the road. And I believe it was like snowing outside. So I wanted to make sure that she couldn't attack me. So we're in the car and my heart is just like beating like. And so I finally told her and everything was fine. Like she took it way better than what I thought she would. She was actually like, I already knew and everything's gonna be okay. Um, one thing about it, she was just like, I'm not, I'm not ready. And my mom's main thing of her not being ready is because she's in her 40s and um, she 40 for her is like, I'm coming into my own space. Um, I, my youngest sister is graduating this year. So it's like, this is my mom's first time since she was in her 20s, her early 20s, that she's able to just, you know, do whatever. And her plan has always been to um, travel and do things like that and then have her grandbabies in a home where she can help raise and do things like that. So it wasn't necessarily that she was disappointed. It was just that she was more so, she feels that she wasn't, Quite ready for that moment and then she felt like because we had just moved into our home and we're still young um she just felt like this moment was not the exact time and I'm now 21 and he's 22 and yeah it's a really young age but in our minds we feel that as long as we're able to pay our bills take care of ourselves and you know still have extra and still be able to love our child and we should be okay and we'll get through it and we'll get by. Um, of course, I do plan on going to school after I finish having my baby. Don't want to start and get sick. And my mom was the hardest thing. The second hardest thing was actually telling my grandmother um, because that is the side where they're very, 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 very religious. And, you know, my granny is very understanding she's um very supportive as well and um i don't know i just felt like i'm her this will be her first great grandchild no one else has babies um i'm the third oldest of her grandchildren yeah i'm the third oldest of her grandchildren her all of her grandchildren and um <clears throat> yeah and <laughs> i'm the first one to have the baby and so it's kind of different but um she's very supportive now so that I, I feel like everything will be okay my family has become very very supportive and for a minute i came into this sad stage of where i'm just like i feel like i was disappointing everyone 
I just felt like <clears throat> I was making everyone um, feel uncomfortable. I just didn't want to be around a lot of people. And I didn't want to tell anyone else that I was pregnant. Just because I I didn't want, one, I didn't want to go through a depression stage while I'm in my miscarriage stage. And I didn't want, I just didn't want to go through it. So <laughs> I just completely shut everything down. And I was sad for a few weeks. And I finally just came to the realization of, I'm gonna be okay and everything's gonna be okay and this is my life and I have to live with what I have done and I'm not I'm not disappointed in myself whatsoever um, I'm very proud of myself for the things I have done um, baby not married all that stuff like that I would never be disappointed in my decisions and I would never regret any of my decisions um, I never planned on being married before I had a baby um, that just was something that I chose not to do and I feel like that is my choice to make. But moving on, um, him telling his family was a big relief off of me um, because they were so supportive and they were so excited and they just knew, they knew, just like my mom knew, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, you are young, but it's still a blessing and you know, you'll get through it. Um, we both come from parents who are were in their 20s the early 20s when they had us so they completely understand firsthand so I'm thankful for both sides of our family and I just know our baby's gonna be loved um no matter what but yeah his reaction when I came home was just so wonderful he just loved on me and oh, story and tell everyone and give this big announcement and I do want you guys to stay tuned do not give up on me I will I will I will promise to continue to vlog and do videos um the plan is to do at least two vlogs a week and at least at least one um regular video of lifestyle or baby videos so yeah those are the plans and I'm just thankful for the support of my friends and family. And I know you guys are watching this and I just want to say I love you guys. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for supporting me. And I will see you on my next